Hi everyone, this is lecture 17 in analog circuits. In this lecture, we will discuss about the positive clampers and in that, we have to discuss about the unbiased positive clamper and biased positive clamper. So first we will discuss about the unbiased positive clamper or simply we can say positive clamper. So the circuit diagram will be like this. So the capacitor should be in series with the source, that is AC source and the diode should be like this. That is, I just reverse the polarities of the diode compared to the negative clampers. In the negative clampers, the diode was like this. Anode is on top, cathode is in bottom. But here, cathode is on top and the anode is bottom. Right? So, how to analyze this circuit? So, we have to first find what is the capacitance voltage. Right? Output we have to take across the diode. So, we can place a resistor also. That we will see one more circuit later. Now, how to analyze this circuit? So here I am applying the square waveform, we, uh, in the next uh, problem we will apply the sinusoidal waveform, right. Now, so first we are applying the positive half cycle, so then what will happen we will see. If you uh, find, first what we need to find, what is VA and what is VK. So initially capacity is uncharged and we are applying the AC signal so that will be uh, directly goes to across the diode. So that means VK will be V in, VA anyway will be 0, right. So that means, now see we are applying the first positive half cycle, that is I am applying first V in is greater than 0. So V in is greater than 0 means, see here VK is greater than VA, that is the meaning. So this is 0, VK is what? V in only. So when V in is greater than 0, and the cathode voltage is greater than the anode voltage. So that means the diode D will be off. Right? When the diode D is off, the circuit will be like this. I mean, I am considering the ideal diode. So here I applied a positive half cycle. Right? Now tell me what is the output? V out, no current flows, nothing. I mean, the capacitor is not charged because, because there is no charging path. So what is V out? Simply V in. So when we apply positive half cycle, the diode is off and we will get V out as V in. Right? Next, if we apply negative half cycle, what will happen? So remember, we assumed the diode D is ideal. So this is D. So this is ideal. So practically means it will be replaced by 0 0.7 volt if it is on. Now when I apply negative half cycle, there is a maximum V m. So here minus plus Vm, this is the capacitor and tell me what happens to diode D. See Vn is less than 0, right. So what is Vn, Vk, right, less than 0. Now if you see what is Va, it is 0. So that means it is becoming Vk less than Va. Now, that is, what is the meaning this one? VA is greater than VK. So, when VA is greater than VK, what happens to diode D? It will be on. So, that will mean, that means it should be replaced by a short circuit. So, this is plus minus V out. Right? So, don't be confused. So, I am uh, coming from the input side. So, actually, we should come like this. So, to make diode D on, VA should be greater than VK. What is VA? 0. What is VK? V in. So that means when V in is less than 0, the diode D will be on, right? Otherwise, we can go like this also when we apply negative half cycle, positive half cycle and so on. So when the diode D is on, now capacitor charges. Now see these uh, polarities and the diode polarities as, I mean anode is bottom. So that means what is the current direction for the diode? So P2N. So the current is flowing like this and current will be flowing like this. So the capacitor charges like this. So that means here positive will come and here negative will come. And then what is VC? This is the VC. Now apply KVL we will get the VC. So there is plus VC minus VM is equal to 0. So what is VC? VM. So again it will charge it to the maximum peak. Right? And what is the V out? This is a short circuit. This is the ground. So V out is equal to 0. So when I apply uh, v, I mean uh, negative half cycle, I am getting 0. Not over yet, so we have to apply one more positive half cycle. Because we have to draw the output waveform, so we should get an equation in terms of Vn. So next, 
I will apply the again positive half cycle. Now tell me, okay, we will see the diode D will be on or off. So, so positive half cycle means suppose if I apply some 2 volts. So this is the Vm. So I am applying only 2 volts. And uh, the capacity is charged to how much? Minus plus Vm. Suppose Vm, if I assume 5 volt. Right? And uh, this is Vk. This is the Va. So what is Vk? Minus 2 minus 5 plus Vk is equal to 0. And what will be Vk? 7 volt. Anyway, what is Va? 0. This is 7 volt. This is 0. So diode is like this. Which one is higher? Cathode voltage is higher than the anode voltage. So that means the diode D will be off when we apply after negative half cycle. Suppose initially we applied positive half cycle, the diode D will be off. So whatever we apply that will go. But the moment the diode D is on when we apply this negative half cycle, then the next positive half cycle comes or negative half cycle comes, the diode still be off only. Right? So that this is the proof. So that means I am applying the, I mean again positive half cycle. So plus minus, I am, I will take it as V in only to draw the total output waveform. And the capacity is charged to how much? Vm. And the diode D will be off. Right? So this is the off. So diode D will be off for positive half cycle. Okay? And uh, here we have to find the output. So to find the output, KVL minus V in minus Vm plus V out is equal to 0. So what is V out? V out is equal to Vm plus V in. Right? That's it. So to the input signal, some DC value is added. So what is the DC value? The maximum peak of the input only. Right? So now we can draw the output waveform. So we got how many conditions? Three conditions. First condition, if I apply first positive half cycle, that is when V in is greater than zero, first positive half cycle, remember, V out is V in only. Next, when we apply V in is less than zero, we got V out is equal to zero. Then third condition, again if I apply V in is greater than zero, the V out was Vm plus V in. Right, and after this, the uh, negative half cycle, the diode will never come back to on state. Right, so now we will draw the output waveform. So this is one cycle, one more, and so on. V in, V m, minus V m by 2 and so on so this is the first two positive half cycle now when I apply first positive half cycle the diode D is off so here I will write D diode D is off here diode D will be on and from this it will be off right so when I apply first positive half cycle, so diode is off, so we will get the as it is, that is plus Vm, right. Next when the negative half cycle comes, V out is 0, that is diode is on 0. Next when V in is greater than 0, the diode D will be off, then we got expression as Vm plus Vn. Now in this expression, substitute. So V in is equal to, so this is the maximum. Vm. So Vm plus Vm. What do you will get? 2 Vm. Suppose if I uh, substitute V in is equal to 0. So Vm plus 0. So it will be shifted to Vm. So that is Vm already there. So this is a 2 Vm and so on. Because the diode will never be on again. Right. So this is the output waveform. So what is the DC value? Vm. So it will uh, go from 0 to 2 Vm and what is the peak to peak? 2 Vm and what is the peak to peak here? 2 Vm only. That is the clamper will not change the peak to peak value right it only adds a DC level to the applied signal or it will shift the DC level of the input signal right. So how it is shifting the DC level? So we are making the capacitor charge to the maximum peak of the input signal 
and uh, the next half cycle comes the diode will be off so for the remaining half cycle whatever we stored on the capacitor that will be given to the output so v in plus this capacitor voltage right that's why there is a shifting and remember when we uh, analyze the positive clampers generally we will start from the this uh, negative half cycle why because when we started with the positive half cycle so the diode or d will be off so whatever we give that will goes so that's why generally in textbooks or any uh, lectures so they will start from the negative half cycle so that means first we have to see that the diode d should be on right so when it is on capacitor will be charges to that maximum peak then for the next half cycles the diode d will be off so whatever capacitor stores that will be given to the output right so here the diode is not allowing the signal to go below the ground level because it is off right that's why we say the negative peak of the input signal is shifted to ground level or zero volts right why because the diode d is not allowing the signal to go below the ground level or zero level because it is off right i hope it is clear then we can analyze the different different circuits ideal case practical case etc right i will take one more circuit with uh, unbiased clampers only but uh, this time i will apply the sinusoidal signal and i will assume the diode d is practical diode you can remember the arrow is looking on top so that means this diode will clamp the input signal to the positive side so that's why we can say positive clamper see so this is the signal and it is clamped to the positive side so that's why the arrow is like this i mean that is for only for to remember is it a positive clamper or negative clamper right the moment you see the arrow like this so it will shift towards the positive side so that's why positive clamper this is the signal and you have to take the output here and this is the capacitor so this is the vn now i will apply so i will assume the diode d is practical that is vd on is 0.7 volt and here i am applying the sinusoidal signal again so i will take the numerical values now minus 5 volt 5 volt v now how to analyze this one so see here again we are starting with the positive half cycle so when we apply the positive half cycle what happens to the diode it will be off why we'll see this is the ground this is the va this is the vk so what is va it is zero what is vk vn so when we apply vn is positive so when vn is positive so which one will be higher the anode voltage will be less than the cathode voltage yes or no because this is the zero so this is zero and this is vn and what we applied we applied the vn as positive that means vn is greater than zero so vn is greater than zero so that means what happens to the diode diode d will be off right are very simple we can remember so i am applying the positive half cycle so plus is connected to the negative terminal of the diode minus is connected to the positive terminal of the diode so that the diode d will be off so when it is off so what is the output voltage so what are we applied that is maximum vm so that will be goes to the output so vm so positive half cycle output is vm right then when you apply negative half cycle up to minus vm only remember from the last lecture so as it is increasing from i mean uh, decreasing from 0 to minus 5 volt so what will happen we'll see so that is we are applying v in negative right so when v in is negative so vk is becoming negative so va is zero so that means v in is negative means we are making va greater than vk because this is zero and v in is negative means less than zero as yes i know and we know vk is vn so vn is less than zero so that means the diode d will be on because va is greater than vk is satisfied okay and remember this is the practical diode so when it is on it will be replaced by a 
point sign voltage drop right so equivalent model will be point sign voltage drop so the circuit will be like this so how much we can apply maximum 5 volt this is the capacitor and this is the diode but the see the polarities this is the point 7 and this is the V out now tell me what is V out? V out is minus 0 0.7 volt, right? And uh, what is the current direction? It is P2N, so it will current will flow like this. Now apply KVL, we'll get the capacitor voltage. So minus plus. So plus 0 0.7 plus VC minus 5 is equal to 0. So what is the capacitance voltage? 4.3 volts positive. See, we can uh, ha uh, give the polarities of the capacitor something like this also. Then we will get Vc as minus 4.3 volts. No problem. So Vc we got 4.3 volts. Then see here. So it is reached to minus 5. Now if the input signal is increasing from this point, the diode D will be off. How? We will see. Now when Vn is again increasing, but it is greater than minus 5 volt right so maybe if i take v in as minus 4 volts so that means this is minus 4 volt and we know the capacity is charged to 4.3 that is minus plus 4.3 right and this is vk this is va va anyway 0 if you apply kvl here what you will get plus 4 minus 4.3 plus vk is equal to 0 so 4 minus 4.3 so VK will be 0.3 volts now tell me v, VA is 0 but VK is we are getting 4.3 volts so that means VK is greater than VA or VA less than VK so what happens to the diode diode D should be off right or to make the diode D on so the difference between anode voltage and cathode voltage should be at least 0 0.7 right so for the next positive half cycle so how much we can apply so I will apply like this to draw the output waveform so this is the capacitor it is already stored 4.3 and this will be half plus minus V out now apply KVL minus V in minus 4.3 plus V out equal to 0 so what is V out 4.3 plus V in what is 4.3 so how much the capacity is stored right so that is a DC level only right and uh, I forgot to mention so when the diode D is on so generally in the previous lectures I have written like this VA minus VK should be greater than at least 0 0.7 so that means this is 0 this is minus VK this is greater than 0 0.7 so that means when VK less than or uh, minus 0 0.7 what what is VK v in so when v in is less than minus 0 0.7 volt then the diode d will be on right so not only less than 0 it should be less than minus 0.7 then only the diode d will be off or we can go for when v in is less than 0 right so how many uh, conditions we got so when v in is positive first half cycle v out was v in only because the diode d is off second condition when V in is negative and it should be less than minus 0 0.7 volt then V out was minus 0 0.7 volt third condition we got V in is again this uh, greater than this negative value minus 5 or positive we can say V out is equal to 4.3 plus V in because again the diode D is off so here the diode D is on right now we can draw the output waveform that is something like this so this is the V in right so this is the positive half cycle and I marked this is 0 this is the minus 0.7 and this is the minus 5 volt right so when we apply the positive half cycle the diode D is off and V out is equal to V in so what I will get the total positive half cycle right and when it is 0 to minus 0.7 it will still be off so up to here also it will produce minus 0.7 only this is 5 this is the v out but the moment when v in is less than minus 0.7 
the diode D is on, the V out is fixed as minus 0.7. So up to minus 5 volt, it will be on. So we will get minus 0.7. Now the moment V in is increasing from minus 5 volt to 5 volt. So what is the condition? The diode D is of V out is equal to V out is equal to 4.3 plus V in. Now apply V in is equal to minus 5 in this equation. So 4.3 minus 5 which will be minus 0.7. So minus 0.7. As it is increasing suppose V in is equal to minus 4 volt. So V out will be 4.3 minus 4. So 0.3 volts. Right. So suppose V in is equal to 0. So what is the V out? 4.3. Suppose V in is equal to 5 volt. So what is the V out? 4.3 plus 5. 9.3 volts. And so on. Right. So V in is equal to minus 4.3. So when it will be 0? When V in is equal to minus 4.3, V out will be zero right so this is the uh, values point by point so when you uh, make like this so we can draw the waveform easily right now see as it is increasing the input is also should be increased so when v in is equal to zero what is the output 4.3 so somewhere here i should get and it is something like this and when v in is equal to 5 we should get 9.3 so it is still increasing only so it will increase it to 9.3 volts again it will come back to point minus 0 0.7 and it will be continuous right so this is the output waveform of the positive clamper and when the diode D is practical right and uh, tell me what is the DC level here 4.3 volts see here v out is equal to 4.3 plus 1 so this is the dc value so the positive clamper is shifting the input signal towards positive side right or it is adding the positive dc level to the input signal right and if the diode d is ideal it will goes to 5 volt i mean 10 volts and uh, this is minus 0.7 so it will be uh, goes to zero level so that you can try on your own i will give the circuit and i will give the directly output waveform so the both this is the capacitor and this is this one so try to analyze on your own so if i apply again positive half cycle and so on five minus five and if the diode d is ideal so what you will get the waveform is something like this so for the positive half cycle diode D will be off so you will get as it is and uh, up to here so from here to here the diode D will be on so that means it will be V out will be 0 because it will be short circuit so V out will be 0 so from this point so that is this point as it is increasing the diode D will be off so in that case v out will become like this um, 5 plus v in now tell me when v in is equal to minus 5 0 when v in is equal to 5 volts it will become 10 volts right when v in is equal to 0 it will be 5 volts so you will get something like this right so up to first uh, uh, time period the wave is not a perfect sinusoidal later after the first uh, time period we will get the perfect sinusoidal waveform which is having some dc level so what is the dc level here 5 volt so maximum we will get 10 volt minimum is 0 volt and the dc level is 5 volts right so this is the waveform for this circuit when the diode d is ideal if it is a practical we will get minus 0 0.7 and this will be 10 minus 0 0.7 9.3 we will get So this is about this problem so maybe the circuit 3 so this is about the uh, unbiased positive clampers now we will see the biased positive clamper biased positive clamper the analysis will be same as we have done for the 
biased negative clamper so there will be some biasing voltage or reference voltage so this is the capacitor this is the diode so here I can add a reference positive reference or negative reference I am taking directly numerical values suppose I can take 3 volts you can take any value minus 3 volt plus 3 volt and so on so here I will do with the square waveform you can try on your own with the standard shuttle waveform so ok I will start with the negative half cycle only now we will see so this is the V in I will taking maximum 6 volts minimum minus 6 volts that means the peak to peak is 12 volts right T by 2 T and so on right so this is the we have to take the output V out now again what is VA and VK VA is equal to 3 volts VK is equal to V in right so I am considering the diode D is ideal right so when the diode D is ideal so when we apply the negative half cycle it will be on so negative half cycle means see here VA is 3 volt and when we apply the less than 3 volt it will be on right so that means what is the condition here is VA should be greater than VK so that means what is VA 3 volts what is VK V in so that means V in should be less than 3 volts not only negative half cycle when the V in is less than 3 volts the diode D will be off so that means so we have to make this as a reference voltage this is the 3 volts so when V in is less than 3 volts the diode D is on so when it is on what is the circuit so when it is on how can how, how much maximum voltage we can apply minus 6 volts so that we have to place here then this is the capacitor C the diode D is on and it is ideal so short circuit this is the 3 volts this is the output now what is the current direction P to N so this will be current direction so simply I can say V out is equal to 3 volts but I need the capacitance voltage so it is uh, the current is flowing like this so capacitor charges something like this so this is the VC now minus 3 plus VC minus 6 is equal to 0 so what is VC now 9 volts now you can uh, observe what is the DC level you will get 9 volts right next uh, next very simple condition when V in is greater than 3 volts the diode D will be off why see here this is 3 the moment the cathode voltage is greater than 3 volts the diode D will be off so that means I am applying plus minus V in and V in is greater than 3 volts the capacitor is charged to minus plus 9 volt and it is off and there is a 3 volts this is plus minus V out now apply KVL minus V in minus 9 plus V out equal to 0 so what is V out 9 plus V in so what is the DC level 9 volts right now we can draw the output wave from so I am starting with the negative half cycle so maximum 6 minus 6 volt so what is the reference value plus 3 volts right so when it is less than 3 volts the diode D will be on right so when it is on what was V out 3 volts so we got two conditions V out is equal to 3 volts when V in is less than 3 volts second condition V out is equal to 9 plus V in when V in is greater than 3 volts so less than 3 so what is the V out 3 volts so here I will get 3 volts fixed so this up to here then when it is greater than 3 the output is 9 plus V in so that means when V in is equal to 3 what I will get 12 volts right when V in is equal to 6 what I will get 9 plus 6 15 volts so 
this will be something like this so maximum is how much 15 volts what is the DC level 9 volts now tell me what is the peak to peak of this 15 to 3 so the difference is 12 volts so here also the input peak, to peak is 12 volts only right so again it is the positive clamping only but it is above the zero level that is also possible that is a uh, due to this reference uh, voltage or bias voltage right and we can apply the negative uh, reference voltage so that this will be i mean here it, it is zero now it may go to, go to minus three volt also right still it is positive clamping only minus six to minus three right that you can try on your own so this is about the biased positive clamper i'll do one more circuit final one capacitor diode then i am taking the negative reference level this is i am taking two volts and i am placing a load resistance r right so practically always we have to con uh, connect a load resistance because this is this is not a load actually right so when i take the output across the this diode on the reference voltage so that voltage should be given to somewhere right so that extra circuit we can consider as a load right for this circuit that circuit will be as a load so load means we have to replace with some resistance low resistance R. so here i'll apply the sinusoidal signal then it will be very clear this is plus minus v out right so i will take it the d as ideal and you can try the practical diode right so when the diode d is ideal and I am applying the sinusoidal signal uh, 5 to minus 5 volt right this is the V in now what is the reference value now minus 2 volts so somewhere here minus 2 volts so what is VA minus 2 volts what is VK uh, V in right so again we are starting with the positive half cycle so from 0 to minus 2 volts somewhere so i mean up to here the diode d will be off only right so the first we are applying v in positive right so that means va should be greater than vk but what is va minus 2 volt but this is vk is v in and see here we are applying the positive so that means this condition is not satisfying so that means the diode d is off this is for on but this is not satisfying because we are applying the positive half cycle so when it is off diode d so initially the capacity is uncharged so whatever we apply that will goes to the the load resistance r so simply v out is equal to v in even though the load resistance r right so that is the first condition then the moment second condition the moment when v in is less than minus 2 volts that means what see here this is minus 2 volts and the cathode voltage we are making less than minus 2 that means the diode d will be on so the diode d will be on so this is the capacitor short circuit minus 2 volts this is the resistor r and uh, how much we can apply maximum minus plus 5 volts and this is the c see when the capacity is charging right through this path right so we have to check that how much maximum voltage we are giving either positive side or negative side right and tell me what is v out v out is equal to minus 2 volts right and uh, how much uh, capacity will charge so like this it will charge so plus 2 plus vc minus 5 equal to 0 so what is vc now just 3 volts right so this much dc level will get in the output and uh, what about third condition so up to here very good but when it is increasing from the minus 5 volt the diode d will be off so when v in is greater than minus 5 volt right so the diode d will be off so from here so that you can verify like this suppose if i take minus plus 4 volt and it is already charged to 3 volt 
this is VK this is VA so I mean actually minus plus how much 2 volt this is the VK so VK is equal to minus 2 sorry VA VA is equal to minus 2 volts and what is VK plus 4 minus 3 plus VK equal to 0 so what is VK minus 1 volt see so VK is minus 1 volt VA is minus 2 volt which one is greater VK so the diode will be off so when it is off this is plus minus 3 so maximum how much we can give 5 volt plus 5 volt so I am taking as V no positive of 2 volts V out so apply KVL minus V in minus 3 plus V out equal to 0 so what is V out 3 plus V in that's it so we got 3 conditions when V in is greater than minus 2 volts or positive half cycle diode D will be off is it right yes so what is V out V in next when V in is less than minus 2 volts D on V out is equal to minus 2 volts third condition when V in is greater than minus 5 volt D off and V out we got 3 plus V in then we can draw the output V form so we can start from the actually negative half cycle then it is uh, very good but oh, no problem this is V in minus 2 volts minus 5 plus 5 so up to minus 2 will get as it is no change at all so this is the minus 2 first positive half cycle then from minus 2 to minus 5 see this less than minus 2 to minus 5 diode D is on V out is minus 2 volts only so up to this point the output is minus 2 volts the moment the input is increasing from minus 5 to 5 so what is the equation we got V out is equal to 3 plus V in now we can uh, substitute the input values from here don't substitute from here if you substitute from here we will get the other another waveform so directly it will be shifted from 0 uh, I mean first half cycle onwards right so that is wrong actually so when V out uh, V in is equal to minus 5 minus 5 plus 3 minus 2 so when V in is equal to 0 so we will get 3 volts when V in is equal to minus 2 I should get 3 minus 2 means 1 so so here I should get 3 minus 2 1 so something like this then when it, V in is equal to 0 I should get 3 volts and when V in is equal to 5 I should get 8 volts so it will increase something like this so this is 5 only so it should increase it to 8 volts and it will follow again so minus 2 8 volts sorry 8 volts right so maximum 8 minimum is minus 2 volts and what is the peak to peak again 10 volts so what is the input peak to peak minus 5 to 5 means 10 volt only right so here what is the DC level 3 volts is the DC level so this is the 3 volts as a DC again don't consider up to first period of the input signal so then we will get the clamped version right perfect sinusoidal with a DC level right so this is about the positive clamper with a negative reference voltage or we can simply bias the positive clamper right and here I forgot to mention one thing I, I uh, forgot this uh, resistance R right so whenever there is a resistance R so this is the open circuit but there is a closed path so the capacitor try to discharge through this path yes or no so for that reason what we have to take the time constant tau RC should be very much greater than the half of the input side half period of the input signal so this condition should be always there when we are uh, talking about the clamper with the resistance as load right so if there is no resistance at all no problem right when the moment resistance comes we have to assume that this condition right so 
So the next problem you can try on your own. I'll give the circuit. This is the capacitor diode minus plus suppose uh, 5 volt. This is the resistor R plus minus V out. So again the time constant uh, condition will come. So if you uh, see this signal, the square waveform minus 6 volt to 6 volt this is the Vn so try to draw the output waveform considering that the diode D is practical so when it is on it should be replaced by 0 0.7 voltage drop and when it is uh, diode is open so there is a path for this capacitor to discharge so when we consider this time constant is very large compared to the input or uh, half period of the input signal then it will not discharge whatever it is having that will be there forever right and finally I will do one more circuit that is suppose if already the input signal is having some DC voltage suppose something like this uh, suppose maybe minus 2 volt is the DC level and it is starting from minus 7 volt and up to 3 volts right so this is the some signal which is having already DC so we have to restore this DC to ground level so we have to use the clamper so so this is the V in capacitor C I need a positive clamper so to shift the this minus 2 volt to ground level so the diode should be like this and we have to make a reference voltage so we can design our on our own see remember always V out we should get 2 plus V in Yes or no? Uh, that is a design actually. So V out is equal to I should get 2 plus V in. Why? When V in is equal to minus 2 volt, I will get V out as 0. So that means the DC level will be 0. That means I have to store this value on the capacitor. Right? And we know when the diode is on, when we apply the negative uh, cycle, right? Or negative half cycle. But how much we are applying the negative peak? Minus 7 volt. So so minus plus 7 volt and this is plus minus VC so I should get VC is equal to 2 volt so how much value should be here plus minus suppose 5 volt plus 7 minus VC plus 5 0 so 7 plus 5 means 12 so I should apply negative reference so minus plus 5 so plus 7 minus VC minus 5 equal to 0 so 7 minus 5 2 is equal to VC so VC will be 2 so that means what should be the reference here minus plus 5 volt so that is actual design suppose someone will ask you so this is the waveform we got now I have to make the DC level as 0 so what is the circuit so that circuit is positive clamper and we have to make biased positive clamper and how to get the reference value so we have to analyze like this right so once we analyze like, like this, I can make a resistor, load resistor R and this is the V out. Right. That's it. Now we can uh, analyze the, the circuit easily. So make the diode is ideal. Right. If it is a practical, we will get my extra 0.7. So plus 5, plus 0 0.7, 5.7. 5.7. Right. So in that case, somewhat uh, different we have to take. That is something like this okay uh, that design also I'll tell you so when it is on it will be 0.7 right so this will be minus plus V reference and this is plus minus VC and uh, here I'm applying how much maximum minus plus 7 so plus 7 minus VC minus 0.7 minus V ref is equal to 0 so 7 minus 0.7 that means 6.3 minus V ref is equal to VC VC I require 2 volt 6.3 minus V ref so what should be the V reference now 6.3 minus 2 4.3 volts so if the diode is practical I we have to apply here minus 4.3 so we have we already consider this is a minus plus so V reference is equal to 4.3 so this is the polarities 
so that you can try on your own so this is minus 0 0.7 minus 5 i mean 4.3 so total will be 5 right now we can analyze this circuit easily so what is va here minus 5 volt what is vk v in right so to make the diode d is on what we need to do va should be greater than vk what is va minus 5 volt greater than v in so that means v in should be less than minus 5 volt then the diode d will be on so that is less than minus 5 means maximum we can apply the 7 volt so this is the diode d so short circuit and this is minus plus 5 volt so tell me the current direction is like this p to n and the polarities of this capacitor is like this so apply kvl will get the capacitance voltage and uh, this is the output voltage so output voltage will be directly minus 5 volt and if apply kvl plus 5 plus vc minus 7 is equal to 0 so what will be vc 2 volts that's it so this is the first condition the second condition is what when va I mean Vn is less than minus 5. Now the second condition will be opposite. So when Vn is greater than minus 5 volt. That means the diode D will be off. Right. So when it is off the circuit will be like this. Plus minus 2. Plus minus Vn to draw the output waveform. Open circuit. And here the resistor R will come. Plus minus V out. I think I forgot here the resistor R. Now the capacitor sees the discharge path, so it will try to discharge from this uh, 2 volts. But if we assume this time constant is very much greater than this uh, T by 2, then whatever we stored the 2 volts that will be stay forever, right? So, so apply KVL minus V in minus 2 plus v out equal to 0 so what is v out 2 plus v in right so this is the second condition so what is the first condition we got v out is equal to minus 5 volt when v in is less than minus 5 volt so this is second condition v out is equal to 2 plus v in when v in is greater than minus 5 volt now we can draw the output waveform that is so minus 2 volt so it is starting from minus 7 volts and so on this is 3 volts but what is the reference value minus 5 volt somewhere here so minus 5 volt So this is the V out. So when V in is less than minus 5, the diode D is on. So that means the output is minus 5 volt. Right? So up to here. Right? Now when V in is greater than minus 5, what we got? The expression 2 plus V in. So that means so V out is equal to 2 plus V in. So when V in is greater than minus 5. So when V in is equal to minus 5. 2 minus 5 it will be minus 3. When V in is equal to minus 2. So 2 minus 2 it will be 0. Similarly when V in is equal to 3. So 2 plus 3 5 volts. So the maximum will get 5 volts. And so on. So we will get the like this. Now tell me what is the peak to peak. Minus 5 volt to 5 volt. 10 volt. What is the peak to peak here? 3 to minus 7 means again it is 10 volts only. But what is the DC level here? Minus 2 volt. Now tell me what is the DC value here? 0 volts. So what is the uh, amperage is doing? It is restoring the DC level. Right? So when I want to see all it, uh, if uh, the DC value is minus 2 volts, when I want to make 0, I have to use the positive clamper and with uh, some reference levels. Right? If, and if it is a positive DC level suppose something like this suppose this is 2 volts and this is 7 minus 3 volts right suppose it is started something like this so it is having positive DC level so to make 
the ground i mean the dc level has ground so we have to use what negative clamper so negative clamper with uh, some reference level so reference value with the reference voltage right then it will be shift down so here we are making see the dc level is minus 2 so we are shifting up so we are uh, what we are doing we are making level shifting so that's why the clamper is also called level shifter see here here we are uh, shifting the upside and here we are shifting the downside so that's why it is called negative clamp right so the output uh, waveform for this uh, clamper you should get as again same minus 5 to 5 minus 5 to 5 so you can design on your own so try to do that right so this is about the positive clampers that is unbiased positive clamper and biased positive clamper if you are having any doubt please post a comment